this video we're going to discuss some of the debugging tools that are built into the spider IDE. First one of those is these error messages over on the left hand side. They're kind of warning messages or code analysis. And so for example we can sc scroll over that and see that I have a undefined name square root in my in my script and I had forgotten to include the math library so I can use that code to figure out what error I had and as soon as I fix that you can see that that goes away. Uh, now one thing to notice is that sometimes down here we see that the local variable circle one is assigned but never used and I may want to make a circle but never use it later and that's okay so some of these we ignore other ones are extremely helpful. The next thing that is really helpful is this line of code here at the bottom first in our main function we have a try statement and if anything goes wrong within our try statement it's gonna push out to here and send a message to the UI so we have access the UI and then we have a message box and that is going to give the trace back to the error so for example if I had accidentally forgotten to capitalize this first of all you can see that I'm gonna get a little warning over here but if I didn't see that and I still tried to run it and we open up regular fusion we see here that a message box has popped up it gives me the error right here global name root comp is not defined it gives me what I had have on my line and then it tells me the line number so line 22 so if we go back to our code we can see on line 22 root comp is never defined and then I can figure out oh I forget forgotten to capitalize that so that's in another, another extremely useful line of code. On top of that, we also up here, all of these blue buttons are some of the debugging tools. So instead of just running your script, you can run it in debug mode, as well as in inserting breakpoints over here. So for example, if I double click on the numbers to the left, it inserts a breakpoint. Then I can run my file in debug mode and I can either step through step through into the functions or I can run until the next breakpoint for example one thing to notice that's really useful is the variable explorer over here so it's going to keep track of all your variables if you have a lot of math it's it's very beneficial to use that so for example if I run this to the breakpoint everything before that should be in in this variable explorer so we can see that I can see the value of my radius 1 and my radius 2 so that's very useful and like I said, we can step through the lines of code here, or we can run it all. Um, and we can also stop it as well. So if we exit debug mode. One last thing that I wanted to point out is how to cast a component. So the Spider IDE has a built-in IntelliSense. So for example, if I do root comp and then a period, it's going to give me a lot of examples of what it thinks I might want to grab so it can give me some certain things here but that IntelliSense doesn't always get everything and so what I can do is instead of having this root comp the design dot root component I can cast this root component and that helps the IntelliSense so I'm gonna actually switch out this line of code for this one here which is really similar as you can see it still has the design dot root component but we're gonna go ahead and cast that component and now notice how if I go and I, as soon as I put in a period, now it gives me a lot more options. And so I can go down here and I think we had sketches. So you can see the difference when I, when I had this commented out and I was just using the component without casting it. We'll go and see that the IntelliSense doesn't give us a full list. But when we use the IntelliSense and cast our component, uh, that will help us in coding as well. So that's all that we have for debugging.